There's something about the scent of a gym that's both daunting and exhilarating. It teems with the musky fragrance of determination, the sharp sting of sweat, and the subtle hint of rubber from the workout mats. I remember my first day stepping into that whirlwind of smells, feeling a mix of terror and excitement. It was on that day, 20 days ago, I embarked on a 100-day gym challenge. The first week was a brutal awakening. Every morning, the alarm clock would sound off at 5.30, summoning me to face the iron weights and relentless treadmill. The muscles, unaccustomed to such rigor, screamed in protest each lunge and lift a battle. But through the discomfort, through the early mornings and the aching limbs, a strange satisfaction began to bloom. By the second week, the challenge had become a rhythm. The alarm clock was no longer a siren, but a starting gun. Each day the weights felt a little lighter, the treadmill a little less daunting. The sore muscles became less of a nuisance and more a sign of progress. And within that rhythm, changes began to emerge. The first change was physical. The mirror started reflecting a different person, someone leaner, stronger. The scale too told a tale of decreasing numbers, but more significant than the physical changes were the mental ones. The gym had become a sanctuary, a place to shed not just calories, but also stress. There was a newfound sense of discipline, a clarity of mind that seeped into every aspect of life. And then came the third week. That's when the challenge truly began to morph into a lifestyle. The gym was no longer a battlefield, but a playground. The weights and treadmill were no longer foes, but friends. Each session was an opportunity to push boundaries, to test limits, to grow stronger. Now on day 20, I look back at the journey so far, at the sweat, the struggle, the satisfaction, and I can't help but marvel at the transformation. The physical changes are evident, yes, but more importantly, the mental fortitude, the discipline, the clarity. These are the real victories. The 100-day gym challenge is not just about transforming the body. It's about transforming the mind, the spirit, the very essence of who you are. It's about discovering strength you never knew you had, discipline you never thought you could muster, and a resilience that surprises even you. So here's to the journey ahead, to the sweat, the struggle, the satisfaction. Here's to transformation, because that's what the 100-day gym challenge is all about. It's not a race to the finish line. It's a journey of self-discovery, of pushing boundaries, of testing limits. It's a testament to the power of commitment, the potency of discipline, and the magic of transformation. And as I embark on the rest of this journey, I invite you to join me. Not in the gym, but in the challenge. The challenge of self-improvement, of self-discovery, of self-transformation. Because in the end, the greatest opponent you'll ever face is yourself. And the greatest victory you'll ever achieve is becoming the best version of you.